Hello everyone, we are back to our Savannah village under construction and yes, we keep getting more and more villagers and that just reminds me I actually need to share some carrots with them. Dude, uh, dude, I, I, I got some I got some some lunch for you or breakfast or whatever. Wait, it's morning, right? Yeah, yeah. Just grabbed... Oh, finally! Yo! You're really... I think you're still half asleep or something. Yeah, we just woke up, the sun's rising, and we got some new wood now, guys. We finally got some mangrove locks, and we are going to turn them all into planks. We're gonna get a bunch of stairs. And what we're also gonna get is some trapdoors. We need it's actually for the windows. How many do we have? That should be enough. Yep, we have enough. So what I plan on doing is, so currently we have been using the spruce wood here at this new weaponsmith house. And yeah, there's no villager working here yet. But I will change that today. We are going to breed some villagers. I'm also going to... Oh, they actually did some breeding already. That was quick. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, what are you offering, dude? Mm, I don't like that offer. Let me actually reset you. Do, do we have some? Yeah, we have got some emeralds. We can lock this guy. Oops. But we have diamond pickaxe. Why do we need still the iron one? I've already got an upgrade anyway, so... Let's see. What do you have to offer? You got sharpness too? I can live with that. But you got the iron axe, and that is a great deal. Let's lock this one. Yo, our first weaponsmith is here, guys. Look at how he's looking at us. Wow. W why does this guy have an eye patch, by the way? Is Like, did you have an accident, dude? Like, you lost your eye from, like, grinding that sword. Did you just slip into your blade or something? Like, while sharpening it? Like, what happened to your eye? Like, I don't get why the weaponsmith... In Minecraft has just one eye like what's his history of this like anyway um, yeah let's get the new wood and look at this I think that looks much better like come on this is so much better let's also replace the door while we add it oh that's gonna be a way better looking door mmm love that already dude um, you get the carrots that you breed with the others good gonna break this I'm gonna break this okay indoors I I will keep the spruce for now I think or should we also replace that I mean we can try I have enough trapdoors anyway I think right now let's have a look it's perfect yeah this looks so much better now we have two more windows And I will see if I do this inside too. How many trapdoors are required inside? We have one, two, three, four, five, five. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have enough. Yep, that that that's a clear upgrade. This is this is much better. I like this more than the spruce. Because the contrast was just way too heavy. Like, look, we see this here. This is too much contrast. Ooh. Yeah, this is so much better. Yeah, we have enough. It's actually funny. Like, we just broke the trapdoor, and now we have a flying pot. Like, why is that not one? Why is that one not falling down? Like look at look at Minecraft physics. Like stuff's not falling down. Like look, we're gonna break this now, and now we have uh, floating flower pots that are not touched by gravity for some reason. They're not falling down even if you do this. Like it's crazy. Like stuff can just fly and not be affected by gravity in in Minecraft. Yo, that's a clear upgrade, guys. That's a clear upgrade. This is so much better. All right. Um. Now to today's project. Um, so we have the mangrove propagule, propagule. I hope I pronounced that correct. And what are we going to do with that actually? So what I plan on doing is I want to create a mangrove swamp with you guys today. Yes, a mangrove swamp. We already got water bu buckets ready and I already have a place where I want to do that. And... 
that also reminds me, guys. I have to break this. Move it to the side. And... We have to connect the road to that building. Because this road is interrupted. And I have to change that now. We go all across here. Go like this. I don't like that. Let's let's actually fill this up. Like that. Nice! Now we have an actual road. You know what we can do here as well? Because this looks a bit strange. I actually want to add some... Some bushes here? We got still some spare bushes, don't we? Yeah, we got some spare bushes and... What are we using for this Akakia, right? But, but yeah, let's get some Akakia fence if we still have some spare one. And let's make like a little, little fenced area that leads across there. Yo, where's my Akakia? Ouch. What did I just do? Okay, upstairs. I believe we got some stuff still in one of the chests here. Uh, I need to cut down quickly a tree. It's gonna be quick. One second, guys. Just a random tree. Let's go for... I'm building here anyway. So I'm going to get rid of this tree here. It's big enough. Okay, there we go. Let's make a little fence here and this fence will go across here until here good ha ha I already make a bit uh, more fence just also for the future now how did we do this so it's first the fence and then the bush right yeah so here will be a fence it will go all across here. And then there will be a bush. And what we can do as well is... Maybe make some sort of lantern here. What do you guys think? Let's actually extend this by one block. Like this. Then we're gonna bring this up. Like this, maybe a bit higher. Oh, come on, let's just use a dirt block. And then, going like this, perfect. Now we need a lantern. This is all going to be our street light. Yeah, I just have to use one iron ingot and change this into iron nuggets and now let's get the lantern there we go yo this looks so much nicer right now let's imagine we are coming out of this building we are following the road I want the roads to actually give us some sort of experience while traveling. It's nice to have sometimes some trees, some decoration. Yo, look at this. This is so much better, guys. So much better. Look. Oh, wow. Yeah, this feels much better. Yo. Let's actually take a selfie here. I, I, I like the way this looks now. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's almost night. Okay, I guess we're gonna sleep in this new house. Let's see if our villager actually has already claimed it or not. Oh, and that reminds me, guys. I've added some bookshelves now. So, so you remember this corner here that was like a little empty and this one? I've decided to just fill the corners up with um, bookshelves. Like here we have this new sitting area, right? And now we have some bookshelves in the corner and... Even though this room is really small, and there aren't like that many decorations in it, I feel like this little that we added does actually add to that building and make it look fascinating. 
Now, if you could only let me sleep, and why is there a villager at my window? Ha ha ha! All the time, me, all the time here doing this strange sounds. How can I sleep when I hear ha ha ha? This doesn't let me sleep in peace. This is just creepy. Okay. All right. Let's get to our project mangrove swamp. So yeah, we're gonna start one from scratch. And Technoblade never dies. For some reason, I can't look at uh, picks the same way. Each time I see a pick, I think about Technoblade, and I haven't, I haven't killed a pick for for ages. I can't kill this anymore. I feel so guilty for some reason. But anyway, um, so this area here where the cobblestone was, this will be actually a small mangrove swamp. So we're already gonna start placing down water here. Two buckets are enough. We're gonna have an infinite water source here. Nice. Whoops. Going to fill out this whole area. I'm gonna flood everything here. It's gonna be nice. Why is that one in the air? Yeah, I think if we do the corner, the rest is just going to be flooded anyway. You know what, I will do it while not in the water, because this is so annoying. Yeah, this is better. Can I actually skip one? No, I can't. Look at this. There we go. It's actually funny, in, in Minecraft, with just two buckets, you can create like a whole lake. Just look at us, what we've been doing here. We do have to change this into mud as well though, and I will show you guys in a moment how you actually can create mud. This is so annoying. Oh, that's actually fast. I did not expect us to be done so quickly actually. Well, the only issue is how the water is like flowing in here, right? So I have to fix this somehow. Let me think, how do I fix this? Ah, by adding water blocks here, I believe, right? Yo, how do I make this higher? Oh, this one here. It's almost done. Only this hole. Yes, we've done it, guys. Wow. We've created our lake from scratch, and it wasn't actually difficult to do this. Now, I do see, like, a little problem here for some reason. Have we, have we skipped one? Okay. Now the water is uh, quiet, so it's at peace. Okay, nice. Um, so let me guys show you how you actually get mud. So I want to have some mud in order to do this I get some water with a water bottle and put this on a dirt block like this and then it becomes mud look at this But this has to be a dirt block right so if we want to grow our first mangrove tree we have to actually get rid of stuff here and do it like this. Nice. Whew, this is going to be so time consuming. I can already tell. Ah! somewhere here we are going to grow our first mangrove tree I will grow it here
and we are gonna have one later in this corner as well what else we could do is if i only had those some some lily pads can you actually clone lily pads if you bone meal them i'm not too sure Yeah, and I will grow one here. One will be here. Or are they too close? No, I think they're gonna be fine. Should we use the new mud blocks as well for like builds? How does it actually look like? You know what? Let me let me let me do a little experiment with something. So I'm gonna turn this into mud. We're gonna break this. Perhaps we should use just a shovel. Okay, so let's make a bunch of blocks here. I'm so curious on how this actually looks. I've never built anything with mud before. Now we have six blocks and we're gonna try them out. We'll be back in a moment to have a look at if those trees have grown. And over time I will turn this whole area into mud. Then we will also add some of the cool lily pads as well as... What's this thing called from the lush cave again? Those. What are they called again? I forgot the name. Um, I hope they're in this chest. Where did I put them? Oh, there they are! Ah, uh, drip leaves! Ah, oh, I forgot their name. Drip leaves. Yeah, drip leaves. We can actually use them. Let me actually grab them and see how they look like decoration wise, right? Um, Do I have spare lily pads? Don't have any lily pads here. How the heck do you get lily pads? Is there like another way to actually farm them? Get like many of those? Not too sure. But yeah, let's quickly smelt up some stuff. Sorry, let me through, please. Okay, glass is nice. Um, wait a moment. How do you actually turn mud into those new blocks? Does this not happen through smelting? Huh? Yo, I need to google this or let me know in the comment section if you know how to do it. I've seen that you can actually turn mud into those um, Those new blocks as well and use that for building But for some reason it's not working here. and I don't know why Yeah, I'll figure something out. Is it is it night or is it like a, a, a thunderstorm? I can't really tell. But yeah, let's uh, try the new. No, it's it's just it's just like bad weather. Yeah. Did you guys do some breeding finally? I need a higher population. Come on. And yeah, this building looks definitely way better. And I love the way that this road looks here. Like we're gonna have like some sort of roads and parks everywhere. There's sometimes gonna be maybe some sort of. I don't know, maybe like statues and stuff, maybe some small ponds with like fish and stuff, right? Maybe like pets along the road. Sometimes I will maybe place a cat on, on something, maybe like a pole or something, right? Um, yeah, but how does it work again with the mud blocks? Not too sure. Alright, let me sleep. And now let's head straight for our new main. Wait. Oh, he claimed it. Wait. We have a new Fletcher. I thought I already have full pop population Fletcher. They don't they don't fall down here, do they? No. Plus, even if they're gonna fall on one of those blocks and take no damage anyway. This is not just a cliff. It's like dirt stairs. Anyway, has something grown yet? Fine, I will just make them grow. No problem, no problem. Just bone meal it. Okay. Got first one. Nice. Let's get the second one growing. There we go. Got two already. Cool.
Can I actually place them underwater like this? And bone heal them or is it... Oh, it is possible. Wow! I do like that one though. Yo! Anyway, um... So we're near to this tree, we can try... The drip leaf and see how that looks. Ooh. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have some of those for sure. There's no doubt about it, guys. Let's get more mangrove trees. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> I like how the roots are growing out here like that. Wow. Nice. I will have to cut one of them down though to get like more of those proper gul thingies. And how about we add some drip leaf here as well? Yeah, why not? Wow, I'm actually so fast here with this. took damage can I do this even oh I can <gasps> you can have them grow out of the water like this this is cool but, but why do I only get like a high one why can I not get one that's like in between <sighs> are they all like this Yeah, but this is nice. Look at it. It looks so much better. Ooh. What do you guys think about our new mangrove swamp? Now, if we had like lily pads, some fish, fish would be nice. I think we should get tropical fish for this though. Because we are, first of all, in a warm biome. This is savanna, right? So it's, it's like warm climate. It's like climate just like maybe South Africa or some, maybe like even, is Gambia that? Yeah, Gambia has some green parts too. Like maybe like Gambia or something. So yeah, let's get some tropical fish. I'm gonna upgrade this. And there's going to be also a road. Maybe that road is here. And it leads all across here. Like I will, like one of the goals is I want to connect all the places with roads as well. There will also be a road from this building leading to this one, and everything will has a road leading to it. This is the the, the future goal of this as well. And what I'm quickly gonna do is I will grab some potatoes and give them to the villagers so we can actually hit the population cap here with our new double bed. I think one bed is still unclaimed inside this uh, new Fletcher house. So let's grab a bunch of, of potatoes. I should have some in a chest actually. There we go, 58. That should be enough for at least two more breedings. Yeah, I, I like the way this feels now. Yeah, we're going to have also a lot of more iron golems, by the way, because the population is increasing. This is our first iron golem, but not the last. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. And I will see you guys next time.